Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Arkansas has looked almost unbeatable the last few weeks. They're finally playing the way they knew they could before the season started. You know how this game is. You're only as good as your last one. So they're going to have to prove it on the field again today. That's going to do it for us. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming right at you. Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I are back at halftime. teams are on the field and we're just about ready to open things up. Gilmore from the three. He wasn't breaking that tackle. What a hit. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. to go long and does. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. The defensive coordinator did a great job with the play call there. He put his defense in alignment in a position to be able to make a play on the football. Everything worked perfectly. They just dropped the football. Boy, the offense caught a break there. Around the 22-yard line. By the time the running back here got the football, he's looking up and he's got a couple defensive linemen closing in on him because they were able to slip off of their blocks. Really, there's nothing he could do at all there. That was more of a miscommunication of just getting overmatched up front by the offensive line. Up the screen. Tillmax got it. Tackle right around the 22 yard line. Looks like the defense was in man coverage there, fellas, and that's why they stopped that screen. Yeah, and when the secondary isn't dropping back into zone, it makes it difficult to have success with that kind of screen play. Prater is the punter. Georgia's coaching staff, the fans, I think everybody's been waiting to see this kid play, and here he is. He's a star quarterback. He seems to bring everything to the table. The crowd, I think, senses he's ready to have a big day. And when your star quarterback feels good at playing at home and he gets off to a good start, some big things can happen for this offense. Slings it. He's tackled at the 35-yard line. I'm really liking what I see from this guy. He's not afraid to go to the air on any down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 35-yard line. And he throws it away. down now and they need to get it to the 25. Mike five. Mike five. <laughs> Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 33-yard line. That makes it fourth and eight. 
Right now, he wants to get this kick away and change field position. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. The Bulldogs really took care of business on defense that first time out, Herbert. One of the great traditions in college football is this defense and the way they play with such passion and enthusiasm in this environment. We're seeing that again today. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. The defenders are really going to have to get their heads into this game. That was a big play, and on first down, no less. First and ten. Ball on their own 36. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. There's nothing more effective that a team can do offensively than to pound the ball right at the defense, trying to wear them down. Here they come. Let's it go. That was really a remarkable catch. The quarterback didn't throw a good ball, but the receiver made a great play. First and ten. From the 25-yard line, first down. And he's tackled to the 10-yard line. First down. And he's taken down at the two. That's a team made on the play. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Touchdown, Arkansas! John was finding the space to run and just bursting in for six. And he adds the extra point. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese, let's take a look at some action in the Big 12. And for Kansas, they've now dropped three in a row. Hester, the quarterback who continues to blossom. He threw three touchdown passes in this one. The Mean Green storm home with a victory, 38-21. All right, thanks, Reese. Back to the live action here. Roberts, ready to kick. Cody has it at the five. He's out to the 30. Across midfield, he's got the corner. Down the sideline. Touchdown, Bulldogs! Will be tied with the extra point. And he converts the extra point. Justice gets set to kick this one away. He'll return it from the three. He's to the 20. At the 30. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 42-yard line. I think we saw the effects of what a long drive can do to a defense the last time this offense was out on the field. They took that football and drove the length of the field to put points up on the board. And I think it really started to affect not only just the, the psyche of this defense, but maybe even the conditioning where they started to get a little bit of fatigue. It's second and eight. Ball on the 43-yard line. Screen pass. He's got his half back. 
And they push him out around the 48-yard line. That's a gain of nine on the play. First down. Two times, two times. Two down, two down. Mike 55, Mike 55. That's a great tackle at the 48-yard line. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. We've played one. We're even at seven in this one. We're all tied up, and more action coming, hopefully, here in quarter number two. This punt, if he gets it where he wants, it can really change the field position in this football game. That turned out to be a nice little punt there. It was just a little pooch kick, but it was very effective. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Catches it, and that's all. Six-yard pickup. Well, he really didn't have to do too much there to give himself a little room to make the catch. They're about four yards away here on second down. Mike five, Mike five. On the ground, left side. They'll bring him down around the 29-yard line. receiver and he can't make the grab this quarterback has got to do a better job of looking off defenders and allow his covered receivers some room to improvise and get free from their own 29 yard line it's second down he tackles him for a loss loss of three yards on the play that brings up third and 14. six-yard line. I like how the offense is using the pass to get him involved. He's explosive, and you just want to get the ball in his hands. From their own 46-yard line, first down. Here's a run. Gets to around the 42. It's second and ten. Ball on the 42. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. And a quick throw. Tackle made at about the 31. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want them. It's the ninth play of the drive. Taken down around the 30-yard line. That's a game of one on the play. That brings up second and nine. 
from the 30 yard line. Second down. Throws complete. He's got room to work. Knocked out of bounds right around the 18 yard line. Here's the 11th play of the drive. Tosses out to the tailback on the screen. Touchdown, Georgia! He makes the PAT. Georgia is ready to kick it away. He's to the 20. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. That's four yards on the play. He took what the defense gave him that time, which is okay. It keeps the yards to go a little bit more manageable. Second and six. Ball on the 30-yard line. They come out on an empty backfield. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. That makes it third and three. He's in trouble. They'll make the sack. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. Hester will be the return man. And he's taken down at the 47. Georgia's offense is just clicking on all cylinders, Herbie, right now. It's everything they plan for, and it's all working. Everything is coming together for this offense. They seem to be getting better with each series. And, you know, this game started where this team was, you know, they wondered if they were going to be able to move the ball against this defense. And I think right now, I think they seem to, as I said earlier, they seem to be growing with their confidence with each possession. Quick strike to the receiver. Brought down at about the 47-yard line. Georgia's going to have to use their second time out of the half. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Georgia up seven points. I love the toughness here by this quarterback sitting in and the last second, trying to make a play downfield, only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit, but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. I didn't have it, and it's knocked away. Not a great throw by the quarterback, but to be fair, that was pretty good coverage. That makes it fourth and four. Owen is back to punt. He'll try to keep this one out of the end zone. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. The momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. And down he goes around the 24-yard line. Gaining four yards. That makes it second and six. Second down and six. Ball on their own 24. Under heavy pressure. Tackle at about the 37-yard line. Here's the true test of a quarterback at any level. 
can they make a good throw under pressure when one or two or three guys are coming right at him? I think this young passer has proven that, yes, he can. Gets it quickly to the tight end, but it's dropped. Second and 10. Ball on the 37-yard line. One more play now before we hit halftime, so they'll most likely throw one towards the end zone here. He airs it out. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. He's going to air it long. No, incomplete. We played a half. Georgia in front, 14 7. David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 31-yard line. We're about set to start things up again. They'll spread the field with five wide. He is drilled at the 48. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 48. Georgia is up by a touchdown. quickly and he's got his man he's tackled at the 44 yard line that makes it second and two and they make the stop around the 44 yard line no game that'll bring up third and two it's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Quick pass, and he's tackled at the 30-yard line. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. That makes it second and eight. From the 28 yard line, second down. Quick out to his receiver, and he's taken down at the 15. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Throws it in a hurry. And he's level at the seven. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. And in this case, he did. Nice job. This play is number eight on the drive. Georgia is up a score. He makes it to the six yard line. That's good for a gain of one yard. That'll make it third and one. 
Third down again. Double tight, guys. Double tight. Four down. Four down. Okay. Go, Mike, Mike 34. Mike 34. Go. Go. Quick strike, and it's caught for the touchdown. Tacks on the extra point. So a nine-play, 68-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven-on-seven -seven drill to not see the ball touch the ground. But this time, they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback in this year. Justice has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. Gilmore fields it at the seven. Tackle made at the 26-yard line. The Bulldog staff has got a winner on their hands. You've been around kids like this. They're just fun to be around. They're fun to be around, and I think it's infectious. His attitude, I think, uh, permeates throughout this entire offense and really uh, throughout the entire team. There's, it's no wonder this team is so competitive with him at the, at the front leading the way. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. He's finally tackled at the 33-yard line. That was a huge lift. Brad, you're right. A run like that can really get the momentum rolling. So we've got a first down after a great running play. Three down, three down. Mike 52, Mike 52. Touchdown saving tackle, but it leaves him with a first and goal. And that's the way you're supposed to play pitch and catch. Absolutely. You know, this wide receiver is a difference maker. He's one of those players that has a chance to go the distance every time you get him the ball. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Tackles him hard at the six. That brings him second and goal. He gets out to about the six yard line. This is from the five yard line. It's third and goal. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Quick throw, almost intercepted. It's up, and the field goal is good. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. Time to check in on Corvallis. The Beavers deliver the perfect connection and a touchdown. The Beavers lead 28-24. You can never look ahead a week, but that would be a pretty big upset if that score holds. Roberts has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. From his own goal line, he gets out to about the 25-yard line. This offense threw the ball extremely well on their last drive, and they ended up with a touchdown. You know, when this defense went over to the sideline, based on the way they've been playing so far, this defense coordinator has got to be living. He's got to get in your face. He's got to challenge them. He's got to get their emotions going. Because when you play defense, it's not just about X's and O's. It's about attitudes and playing with a lot of confidence. From their own 28-yard line, it's second down. Throws a bullet. So at the end of the third quarter, the Bulldogs lead 21-10. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Mike 5. 
He's got it with room to run. They'll bring him down right around the 36-yard line. Good gain on the pass to the running back. This young man is becoming more and more part of this passing game. He does a great job of making guys miss after the catch. First and 10. Ball on the 36. A gain of eight on the carry. That makes it second and two. Seven-yard line. And a quick throw. Tackle made at the 49-yard line. That makes it second and six. Strike complete. He's taken down around the 36-yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. He's under pressure. This quarterback is tough as nails, Brad. He's going to sit in that pocket and give himself a chance. The only problem is, at some point, you've got to have a feel. Almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure, or just to throw the ball before you get hit. He fights forward to about the 33. Call it a game of three yards. Third down. And this is the tenth play of the drive. Just over two minutes in the game. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. So they're just about set to get the game going again. He goes downtown. And it's caught. Brought down. Right around the 30. First down. throw it in a hurry they bring him down he just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down boy excellent play by the defense here a few extra seconds and those receivers might have been open quick release tight end incomplete in the passing game the chemistry and the rhythm between a quarterback and his receivers are very important here he has an open tight end and he just throws it to a wrong spot those guys got to get on the same page
Going for it all to the end zone. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. It's fourth down and the offense is getting set to go for it. A little over a minute in the game. Rifles at right. So the play of the day, fourth and ball game, and the defense comes up with the stop of the day and what will be the win. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. He's at midfield. Knocked out of bounds at the 43-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 43-yard line. run and he's brought down Cody gains about five yards on the run Arkansas just took their first time out that's a great tackle at the 38 and the halfback's got nowhere to go one thing the coaches always say about this sophomore is that he has great lateral movement that lets him move well behind this defensive line and get after a lot of plays in the running game. Quick throw out to the receiver. And down he goes around the 21-yard line. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back the pass. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 21-yard line. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. Lining up in a victory formation, and he takes a knee. And the ball game's over. The Bulldogs get the win, 21-10. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.